first topic, I'm going to be talking to you guys about helping save endangered species. When someone first thinks about it, they think about animals being somewhat in captivity. They think about animals who are technically, in a way, caged up. They never get to see the day of light, like a jail cell corner sort of thing, so they got the bars. But in all honesty, if you have two lions who are going extinct and they're brought into a zoo, right? And they are going to endanger their, you know, people hunt them. They have a lack of food. Actually, what people, or should I say zoos, would do is they give them a safe and stable environment to live in. And they prevent them from going extinct. They help these animals come together and they actually help them do something known as breeding. So this one. So what they would do is these animals would in turn breed and they would help let the whatever species it may be repopulate and it would save them or prevent them from going extinct. So really, with um, the breeding that occurs in zoos, this helps repopulate their species and it helps them flourish once more. With the measly two lines that once existed, you now have four. All these little lines that repopulate and it saves their species become from becoming extinct and it helps them flourish once more. Now, that is just one little thing that saving and gender species would fall under. So with something like that, uh, with the male and the female breeding, it would cause them to have little babies. And with these babies, they would repopulate and so forth. And with that, you would have something wonderful happen. It's the population would increase. And this is really how they do it. They do this in order to save them from you know, going extinct. And again, this is just one of the things that they do in order to help save endangered species. Again, it relates back to the idea that people automatically assume the animals who are held in captivity Again, they don't have much of a life, you know, I guess will be fun. They're kept behind bars and, I mean, they don't have much, I guess, freedom, as you can say. That's the animals behind the bars again. So, again, there is another reason why the helping of, you know, save endangered species is crucial. Not only do they get to repopulate and does it prevent them from going extinct, but it also gives them a safe and stable environment. These animals still have grass and they have even sometimes a small body of water like a pond and they have an abundance of food. The food never goes away. It is always there. And they're still surrounded by a natural and stable environment and honestly I mean they have it pretty nice I mean they don't have to worry about you know weather that is out of the question they don't have to worry about food again because food is always there they don't have to worry about predators so really all that they have to do is just, I guess, accommodate to the change of, you know, where they're living. Because it is a stable environment, it is stable, and it is safe. So they are guaranteed a well and healthy life. needs to be taken care of. So in the wildlife, you have an animal who is sick. 
and if an animal is sick in the wildlife, who's going to take care of them? Who's going to bring them back to health? Um, the only answer for that is that, honestly, I don't think that anyone can bring them back to health. And it can potentially lead to a fatality, which would ultimately lead in, you know, death. And nobody in the, in the out in the wildlife can help save them unless they're, you know, kept in captivity. But if you have these three components, which is medicine, food, great environment, and a constant supply of it, which is guaranteed in a place such as a zoo or any other place such as SeaWorld, their health is guaranteed. Their life is prolonged, and the longevity of their life, obviously, you know, is longer, and they live a wonderful and happy life. If they're out in the open, they are not guaranteed these things. That is why captivity is so crucial, because there is always an abundance of these things, and the, hus and the hospitable environment that they live in is offered by these people who care for them, obviously at no expense, and, you know, they don't have to worry about those things.